Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoid and welcome to my full review of the Orange San Francisco 2. This is a £99 pay-as-you-go handset that you can buy in the UK, manufactured by ZTE and it sports Android 2.3 and an 800 megahertz processor inside. Now if I take you for a quick look around the handset, we've got micro USB on the side for charging and getting content onto the handset. Around the back we've got 5 megapixel camera, LED flash, little tiny speaker next to that orange logo and you can see already from the reflections there that this is a glossy fingerprint magnet. Very cheaply made, very cheap plastic but that is reflected in the £99 price. Volume up and down on the side there, on the top we've got the on off switch and also 3.5mm headphone jack. And on the bottom, just a little cutout there for getting the battery case or battery cover off. Microphone pickup here, and that does a decent job. I've made some calls with this handset, and it is pretty good quality. Incoming call quality from the top is okay as well. We've got a front facing camera and some sensors at the top as well. Now, it runs Android 2.3. Does it run it okay? Well, it's not too bad, but you can see even just moving between screens, so this isn't even sort of processing a game or an application, it does stutter. Let me give you a close-up look at that. So even just moving across, you can see the screen stuttering as it moves across, so not stellar performance. It's okay, but don't expect uh, really good gameplay on a handset of this price point. Now, I will just tap and hold here. People always ask this. Wallpapers, what does it come with? Well, we've got gallery wallpapers, and we can choose between the camera shots, but no um, sort of pre-installed sample photos. We can also, if I go back into it again, we can also choose between the supplied wallpapers on the handset, and there's some reasonable ones. We can see one here. If I can get it to scroll across, we've got another one there. So we've got a selection of pre-installed wallpapers. Nothing fantastic, just the sort of regular ones that we would expect to see on a handset. Let's go back and we're going to live wallpapers because we do get live wallpapers with this one as well. And very quickly just show you, we've got Galaxy Grass, Many Maps, Nexus, Polar Clock, Spectrum, Water, Waveform, etc. Let's put that water one on and set the wallpaper. And there we go. So you can see that it does have live wallpapers. Now I've been using this for a few photos as well and I'm going to show you some of those photos now. So let's go into the gallery application just here. And I've taken some video as well and after I've shown you the photos I will actually show you some of the video playing back. So here's some of the photos I've taken, and they're not too bad. You need good lighting to achieve good results with this uh, particular camera, but for an occasional photo that you're gonna take, it's not too bad at all, more than acceptable. And although in low light, you can see on this one, if I just pinch in and zoom, we've got a lot of noise in here. You can see a lot of noise in that photo. So you do need good lighting to achieve good results. Now I did take some video, captured with the Orange San Francisco and I'm going to play you that back now so you can see the sort of quality that the video capture achieves. So this is the video recording from the Orange San Francisco 2. Now I'm in my studio, I've got some natural lighting coming in and one studio light at the moment as well. Now let's head on over to the review corner, you can see some products on the shelves here. And the white balance seems very accurate, or at least it does on the screen. Very vivid orange colours. And let's see how well it does at focusing. So let's just move across here. And we're round about probably 8 centimetres away at the moment. Let's move in a bit closer, so round about 5 centimetres. It seems to be out of focus on the back screen. Let's go a little bit closer, so now we're round about 4 centimetres away and definitely out of focus, you need to pull back to round about the 
eight to nine centimeter mark. Okay, so the video capture leaves a lot to be desired, but this is a sub 100 pound handset, so you can't expect too much from it. You're not gonna get 1080p video capture from something that costs this sort of price. So moving on, let's have a very quick look at the YouTube application. We're going to YouTube and let us do a search. Tiny keyboard. This is one of the most difficult keyboards I've had to use. Again, it's acceptable, but compared to the higher priced handsets, you do hit the wrong keys, as you saw me doing there. So let's search for Geekanoids. And it's <laughs> search for Germans. Let's go back and do another search, and this time search for Geekanoids. Here we go, so here's some of my videos. Let's play this one here and it starts buffering and hopefully playing. Let's turn it round into landscape. You can see the screen is rather nice. Very nice screen for watching uh, videos back. That is a good job. Let's actually pump the volume back up. ...coverage of the HTC Desire mobile phone. Now I've been doing a lot of coverage on this mobile phone over the past few days. Well, this is part eight of my video. There you go. So full volume, you do get some distortion on that speaker, but the screen is really rather impressive. Again, for this sort of price point handset, you've got reasonable viewing angles and good color. It looks very, very nice and a pleasure to watch videos on the San Francisco 2. Let's go back out to the home screen and have a look at this notification bar. We've got no notifications in there at the moment but it seems to come down from the top reasonably snappily, although again, you've got that noticeable lag when you're flicking the screen back up. We've got the normal status icons up the top there, and I want to talk to you a little bit about battery life. Battery life on this has been very good, and I would have expected that because it is a low power handset. So I've been getting uh, roughly about a day and a half to two days, and that's on medium use. When I really pushed the handset on the first day I had it, even though I was taking lots of photos and videos, I still got a full day's use out of this. So good uh, battery life on the San Francisco 2. So would I recommend this? Well, of course there are better handsets. You can spend anything up to around about 600 pounds on a handset nowadays, and that get you the very latest dual core processor, a nice large AMOLED screen. But do you really need that after all? A phone is just really for making and taking calls, checking your email, and maybe using Twitter and playing the odd video and game. And the San Francisco 2 does deliver on that front. So if you're on a budget and you need to pick up something under £100, then I can recommend it. If your budget's a little bit more, then I would say it is worth spending a little bit more too. You will feel it in the build quality and in the smoothness and fluidity of the operating system and use of the handset. So that's it for my review of the Orange San Francisco 2. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.